Hello guys, welcome to my brand new series on RPG Maker MV. Um, with this brand new series, it, it is going to be a tutorial series, but I kind of want to take a different approach to it as, well, mainly because RPG Maker VS Ace, pretty much all those systems and how everything works pretty much carries over to RPG Maker MV. Um, everything is just JavaScript now and um, all of that other stuff. Um, it looks different, but at the core, it's still RPG Maker um, and if you've been using this since RPG Maker 2, you know, 2K3, um, and all those older ones, the interface is pretty much the same. So I'm not going to go through as re-explain and everything that most people already know. Um, so what I'm going to do is explain it in such a way where old and new people can kind of follow along and it won't be, it, you know, it won't be too overwhelming for new, you know, users and it won't be too simplified for um, you know more advanced users coming from ace and all those other um, RPG maker before um, Now pretty much the uh, structure of these tutorials will pretty much be me making a short game um, It's probably gonna be like a five-minute game um, of you doing a simple quest um, And then pretty much um, as I'm making that game I'm going to be explaining to you guys all the various systems and you know briefly walking you guys through what everything does and I will cover everything but um, scripts actually plugins they're called now or and also how to import resources that I will be covering um, it's gonna be a part of this tutorial series but it's gonna be like in a different section um, right now we're just covering what the you know what you can do with RPG Maker MV and what the systems provide you um, so without further ado, I'm going to start off by, of course, explaining to you guys the interface and then we'll, we'll jump right into making the game. Um, so um, with any other applications up at the top, you have your file, which you can open, um, close, save your project. Deployment is how you, let's say you're done with your game and you actually want to, you know, share it with um, the world, right? You could export it to be played on Windows platform. Mac OS platform, Linux, um, Android, and iOS. If you want, if you want it to be a web browser, um, browser, web browser based game, you can make it that. Um, and you could also pick if you want to encrypt all your images, your audios, just in case if someone else has RPG Maker, um, MV or whatever, they won't steal your assets or you know something like that. Um, and you could do an encryption key, which RPG Maker um, VS didn't have. Um, and exclude on use files pretty much like um, it's kind of like a garbage collection it looks through your database if it sees um, that the game doesn't use a particular file it won't you know export it to kind of keep your file sizes small um, edit regular pretty much copy paste delete um, find and all those other regular windows stuff mode um, is to switch between your mode you could do either map or event and I'll you know further and play that in, um, in more details later um, draw is pretty much like um, you know your selection tool I mean not your selection tool how you draw stuff on the map um, so for example you have a pencil a rectangle uh, actually, let me show you guys so yeah you have a pencil a rectangle um, elliptical or circle ish and then you could also have your fill um, and I'll get to this menu later. And um, right now, we're still up here. And you could, of course, you know, pick all that from here. You have something unique, um, which is your shadow pen. So sometimes when you're mapping, your shadows might um, get messed up based on how the system kind of like auto tiles for you. So you could actually manually put in those shadows or take them out if they're in, in the wrong places. Again, we'll get into that um, further detail later. Um, scale, you could zoom in and out, um, or you could see the actual size of your map. Um, zoom in, zoom out. Um, tools is how you nav, it's pretty much um, all your menus, right? Your database menu, your plugin manager, your sound testing menu, your event searcher, character generator, resource manager, RP, and then you have this tool that lets you do other stuff um, with DLCs and stuff. Um, and you have your options right um, again we'll come back to these menus and further explain them 
um, you have your game which um, opens the game folder um, so let's say you want to you know move around some assets and stuff like that you could quickly jump into your game folder and play test and you could play test your game to make sure um, you know it is indeed running how you like or you want to or you want to test out some stuff S sorry about that my speaker was definitely way too loud okay uh let's bring this back to uh, do that, right um and then you have your help which will bring you to the um help file which is no longer local it does take you to the website um and then you have your tutorials which um pretty much um they're preloaded um they're preloaded um stuff in here to pretty much walk you through how to like actually use the game so what i definitely do recommend that new people do um especially if you're brand new to rpg maker is to come down to help um do a tutorial it'll give you a list of stuff and this will literally tell you how to do um most of the stuff that you would need to know how to do you know starting off like mac basics event basics um and all that other stuff um okay we can click on time okay so pretty much everything i just said about the file the edit the mode the draw and all that stuff that's neatly broken you know um neatly displayed here for you guys in sections broken down into sections to you know help you navigate that way you guys don't have to click through these menus all the time to you know pick out exactly what you want to do um you could just use these shortcuts up here um which is what i was doing before when i was just um you know just quickly switching between these tools and stuff like that um you could also zoom in zoom out one to one which will show you the actual hit this open up your database um this for your plugin manager this for your sound test so everything you see in these menus are replicated right here all right now we have on the left hand side uh, let's do this first so you have down here which is your map um, this is where you actually draw your map out so like what your actual um, map will look like so let me actually switch this to outside I don't know something I like outside maps more than inside maps don't know what it is but so this is your map again this is where you would um, have all your stuff out. this is your game world pretty much where your character will be walking around and interacting with stuff everything goes on your map right your um so right here's where you have your map and where you could actually draw stuff out put down events um and all that good stuff over here to the left you have your i actually don't know what this is called but i'm just going to call it your tile set panel right so it's pretty much like a, a a panel of paint brushes right and then on the right you have your map which again i will kind of consider like a canvas and then on your left you have your tile set panel which i will consider as brushes so it's pretty simple all you have to do is select what kind of um you know what you want you could select multiple or you could select one piece or you could you know just do whatever you want and you could pretty much draw based on what kind of drawing mode you're in all right um straightforward if you've used any um picture um editing software it's the same way right um so now your tile set panel is broken down into different categories the first category will always be um pretty much the stuff that includes your walls um your floors um it's pretty much usually your walls and your floors right and then b c um d and e um you could add um an extra two slots d and e um those pretty much have your props i, I like to call it so stuff like trees um bridges signboards logs chop down trees um boxes um ruins temple stuff flags and you know things to kind of decorate your maps with so for example actually no not really for example so that's pretty much what that is uh, um we'll get to the example in a little bit uh check on time 
Okay. So down here, we pretty much have um, your actual maps, right? So this is a list of all the different maps that you have in your game. So for example, if we make a new map here, um, we have another map in our game now. And uh, let's go ahead and do this. Here we have a new map with a different house, which doesn't really matter, it's terrible, right? So that's pretty much it for the basic layout of the menu, um, you know, of the interface. The rest are pretty much just menus, like for example, um, your database menu, which has a whole list of menus. This will get its own video, trust me. Um, plugin manager again this will get its own video um, sound test I'm gonna briefly go over this it's not really that important but kind of is um, and you know character generator so these are just a whole bunch of menus um, and then also there is the map menu again I will be explaining to you guys what all this does in further details um, and pretty much yeah the next episode um, I definitely thank you guys a lot for tuning in for this um, tutorial series um if you guys want me to talk about anything specifically definitely let me know and i'll make a video for you again um after i'm done with these series um what i plan on doing next is plugins um because for me um that's where um i get excited um for rpg maker in general because plugins definitely are powerful and they allow you to do a whole bunch of stuff that you can't do by default with the system um, and being a coder myself, I do like to tinker around with um, those plugins. Um, but yeah, that's going to be the main focus um, after I'm done with these tutorials. But definitely thank you guys again for tuning in. Make sure to smash that like button because it helps me out a lot. Um, and it shows me that you guys are enjoying my content. Again, if you don't like it, I definitely would appreciate you just the same if you hit the dislike button. Because again, it helps me tell what you guys do like. Um, again, leave a comment down below if you guys have any questions and also make sure to subscribe and please turn on your bell notification icon so you can be notified every time I release a new video. Um, yeah, that's pretty much it. Peace.